Yeah, well, if you two could work out how you're going to get the Duke Duke down. Oh, it's, it's very simple. It's just Doug Chan doesn't want to do it. Yeah, so, uh, all right, let's start building some things then. So we're going to need... Um, I did make a list, didn't I? We're going to need a non-mining driller. Yeah, Sazra, do you know what your vehicle's going to need? What? A vastly longer wheelbase. A miner. Uh, and then soon enough, a welder. Oh, I am a bit lower than I thought. Oh. I'm going to need more retro thrusters now as well. Uh, okay, so... What components would you like? Um, well, I'm mostly interested in constructing these drillers on the front, so steel plates, computers, motors, large steel tubes, and construction components. Okay, so what do you actually want then? Steel plates? Um, steel plates, obvious. construction components, motors. Are they going to be the main things? Oh, maybe not that many. I don't know, I've got a lot of drills. Uh, are you sure um, seven parachutes are sufficient? I believe so. You don't want me to add an eighth one for luck. Uh, you may go ahead if you wish. Well, no, no, I'm just, I'm just checking they've all got parachutes in them, which they seem to have. Uh, you don't want me to attack that red thing whilst we're uh, up here. No, it's probably not a good idea. Uh, what if I, can I just change the connector to ignore it? Uh, if you put no IIM in square brackets with capital N and capital I, I, and M, uh, that will. That was a shitty explanation. What am I putting in? <laughs> I, I, N with no N and no capital I, I think, is, is what we got to there. Open square brackets, capital N, lowercase O, space, capital I, I, and M, close square brackets. Oh. That's a torpedo corvette. I might not go and attack that. Okay, it has uh, not taken the steel back. Oh, no, it has taken the steel back. Yeah, I tried naming it, like, locked. But I named the connector. Why is it doing stuff when I've named the connector? I am not sure. Are you ready, Rev? Uh, yes. Uh, let me just get You're back still on board. solving my problem. <laughs> I think I'm, Rename I think I'm up the cargo down. locked instead of hidden. Okay, I'm sat down. Let's go. Okay. Let's ride, chauffeur. Should we save a blueprint of the ship again before you destroy it? <laughs> uh, might be a good idea. Yeah, you can do that if you want. I'm going to do that. I think we have impro improved the aesthetics of it, haven't we? Uh, somewhat. I, with I think the, the with refinery the refineries on the roof. <laughs> and 20 thrusters on the bottom of it. <laughs> Did it really just take us that long to accelerate up yes. to 100? It did. <laughs> what's, what's the braking distance on this thing? Uh, no. <laughs> just be glad you've started, Rev. You can worry about stopping later. The fun thing is always, like, will the... Uh, will it blend? Will the parachutes actually engage? No, oh, that'll be good, won't it? Like okay. how? What, what I can hold my own weight. Uh, just the... Ooh. I just clipped through the floor of the ship. <laughs> I oh, thought that. that. <laughs> you did, did you? <laughs> but we're going down. How did I clip through the right. floor? Where going am down? I welding? Oh, well, Why I don't the you come and fly to the front the of my ship? You don't need to put drills this close together. Uh, are they large grid or small grid drills? So large grids you do have to put together. Uh, they appear to be large grid. Why are you building a large yeah, so grid Yeah, large ship? grids do have to go together. Why not? But smalls can have a separation of two well, blocks, is it? It's like a million times more expensive than a small grid one. Well, I think you mean about... Yeah, but I thought we were trying to drill on a very large scale, so... Right, but you can drill a large scale with small grid drills. It's a lot cheaper. Ah, oh, well, I've kind of built a large grid thing now, so... Mm-hmm. Besides which, it's a new experience. Yeah, but this is like this is why it's taking you so long to weld everything up, and so many trips back and forth. Because it's a large grid chip, isn't it? Like the the large grid welders, uh, the large grid drills take like what is it four times as many components? 
Like you can easily do two we small have, grid, we are small grid drills Mars. in one trip. We have entered your pantry gravity well. Greetings. Our pantry gravity well. Go back to the Mars. The Earth is too dangerous. Uh, you see what I, I mean? We're gonna we're gonna massively overshoot, aren't we? I can't see what Mike's doing. Mike's building at an angle. Um, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm building a missile, basically. Kind of. We, we uh, are also building a missile, Mike. I think ours one, our one will hit first. <laughs> I turn on the dampeners. We will. 2.9 million uh, tons of missile. Re uh, Ed, why have you built the drills on the end of this long tube? The long tube is going to have engines. Full of That's more cool. batteries than you could possibly need. I didn't know how many batteries I need, so I built a few. Uh huh. What? Well, I'm just noting that you've uh, put uh, thrusters in most of the directions, but you haven't got a slowing down thruster. It's a missile. <laughs> <laughs> good, good point, good point. <laughs> Please put an abort control on this missile you before Mike you fly it into ship? something. I mean, not having enough thrusters is not, is not something you can accuse Mike of, I don't think, but... Have you remembered to turn on? Should we turn on the Atmo thrusters now, just so we don't forget to later? Okay, good idea. I'm turning no, them on. No, because they will draw power even when they're not working. Well, we've got plenty well, of power. If the, um, only if the dampeners are on, which they aren't. We, we, are, okay. we are not short of power. Uh, that's why we're going to go boom, I think, when we hit the ground. And you're sure you don't want me to get out and build some plative armor push. on this? Ablative armor will not help if we hit Can the we ground. go left a bit because we are going to be miles away from them? Or, uh, uh, several well, away. not very easily, no. Um, go on, give that a bit of a boost. Give it a bit of a sideways boost. There we go. Go on, we can go forward a bit. Like, we, we won't go very fast because the, uh, like, the speed limit. We're currently going down at a fairly rapid pace, so... I, I've observed that, yes. It's, uh... Uh, also, there's a ladybug less than two clicks oh, away oh, from us. We've parachuted. Yep, indeed. Have you? Have. You're way too high. You're still four clicks from us. Oh, but like yes, but also sideways. Horizontally, yeah. Yeah. That's why I I'm kept somewhat saying, worried about this ladybug. The worst that can happen, etc. Um, are you sure um, you've got it the can on? blow us up? Uh, yes, but I do not have the dampers on yet. Okay. Uh, waiting oh. for us to get a little bit closer to the ground. This is pretty magnificent, actually. I okay. knew I should have put one on the front. Ladybug has passed its point of closest approach. Okay, so I am all ready to weld up the uh, steel blocks that will go inside the hole you've been drilling out. Um. Is this going to be like the ice mining all over again? Yeah, yes, yes it is. <laughs> this is where I'm glad I built a tool changer on my ship so I can just put a drill on it. Well, it's not going to be drilling very rapidly, is it, though? Well, it'll be dr drilling drilling more rapidly than Ed's. Why is that? Because it oh, be everything has oh, yours is still exists. landing yes. geared to the ground <laughs> on a everything stick. Everything has stuck. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, let's wait for the uh, parachutes to go away, which can oh. be a little bit finicky. Very good. That ladybug let's is drive. slightly uncomfortable. Drive. What have you? Uh, have you put some? Oh, uh... No, you're parachuted again. <laughs> we are parachuted. <laughs> uh, yes, I will turn those off. We have plenty of up there. What were you worried about? Mm. This is this is this is lovely, isn't it? I'm just gonna get out and get that uh, unknown signal whilst you're doing this. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Like my. I'm lying here dead and just watching the Duke Duke drift away into the distance. It's, it's going flying really nicely. <laughs> into the sunset. Ha ha. I did not split the grid. Suck on that. Cheating. Let me go and find my body first. Wow, I'm only one and a half kilometers away from my corpse. Oh, well, I'm now experiencing the limitations of the gravity well again. In terms <laughs> of hydrogen usage. Can we go back to space? <laughs> I'm enjoying <laughs> it up there. It's certainly nice to be able to turn off the uh, dampeners. I hope you built a nice landing platform for our mobile refinery. That was not on the uh, work list. you got a kind of work to rule thing going on, have you? No, but jobs only get done if somebody wants to do them. We don't actually have a um, base to land it in yet. 
I'd like to point out. That was kind of what I was saying, Mike. Yep. But we do have the means to build a base. Well, we're supposed to be digging it into the mountain. Yeah, well, we don't have the means to dig, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Whose fault is that? Yeah. Mike. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who took the who who took the job, Ed. Yep. Is this not quite a bumpy? I suppose it's okay as an approach road, isn't it, to the base? Yeah, it's like the least bumpy part of this mountain. So where is the base? Uh, well, it will oh, be oh, where oh, Suz has oh, built I like a them. little uh, a marker. And we're parked. Congratulations. Did you take off all your drills? Space. Yes. Oh, that's a bit of a shame because you could have drilled out the hole <laughs> that Ed was going to drill out, but he was too busy building a large grid ship instead of a small grid ship. Unless you wanted to drill a trench, it would not be very useful. <laughs> well, you, well you, you've got that large thruster in the back. You could turn upright. Drill mm, belly no, first into no, the mountain. I humbly submit that we, we Is this not. blue thing your multi-tool ship? Yep. Okay. Or I can also build another flying mining ship. Whoa, yeah, I like your um, your it's large grid drill, actually, Mr. Healy. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, it's a bit overspec. Is it going uh, to fly? It's late. Well, I would hope so. I'm going to give it. Question. I'm going to give it large thrusters in each direction and see what happens. Ah, uh -huh. uh, it is currently 300 tons. <laughs> Okay. So, about as Ed, heavy as Ed, Stop <laughs> You're not going to be able to use this for drilling. It's going to be too unwieldy. How heavy is the Duke? Uh, 300,000 tons. Yeah, the Duke Duke is about um, 10 times heavier. Okay, I'm I think I'm going to be fine. I'm oh, sorry, Ed, I could should have come and seen what you were doing earlier. I noticed, like, a uh, a tower of brick. Um, no, Inception it's not drones. where the tower is. It's where this brick is, where I'm standing now. There's a now. scorpion coming towards us rapidly. Have you seen that? Is that a bad thing? Uh, ooh, it that is, is, yes. Uh, let's, let's take this on. Guns out. Uh, I'm going to man the guns on the uh, Zoro. But somebody else will need to intercept it. Oh, they're working. Working, which is good. Are our guns on? On the Duke Duke? Uh, they should be, however, that does not necessarily mean they are working. I don't... Do we have ammo? Okay, I mean, it's too late now. Yeah. Uh, they the, do, the, they the do have The encounter is over. If I make a, Go. a hole for drilling this ice, is that going to cause consternation? Oh, I don't think Dan's going to like that if you I, make a hole in the floor here. My plan is to basically make a small hole and then build a stationary mining rig. Well, that's uh, what I was, yeah, that'll that's, be fine. It's far enough out that we should be able to go around that's it, and we can brick over it if it's a problem. Proposing to do, but um, Dan didn't seem to like us. Uh, well, well perhaps, uh, perhaps RCX and Rev should collaborate a bit more on that. Oh, it's not very much ice, is it? Uh, well, it's not a very thick layer, yeah. I'm just going to build some base blocks for our mining operation. Uh, yeah, I was just about to try and set up a... Ooh. You may be excited to hear that I'm going to connect it to the uh, ship for That's temporary reasons. A, a sensible option. Um... Uh -huh. Aha. Oh, -hoo. how interesting. It's okay, it's a neutral supply transport. They won't attack us. Have you set your guns to shoot neutrals? I do not believe so. Why not? Because we don't want to shoot neutrals. You think we're some kind of pirates? Yes. You're on the wrong <laughs> series. It's not the Scarlet Emerald. Oh, oh, what's that? Sorry, wrong button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had so much of that. I think people need to, like, just move their gun to a different hotbar. No, but I need it in case Rev decides to shoot me. At all times. At yes. all times, yeah. Yes, like I need to. I need it so that I can shoot Rev back if he shoots me. But when you go internally, why do you not press the zero? So that you. Sorry. I mean, I'm always right. at zero. Uh, okay. How do I actually control this missile then? I've got into the terminal. How do I actually control it? Oh, you didn't say you needed it to control it. <laughs> Hang on, I'm only about two blocks away from you. 
Uh, so why is this, why is this not work? I saw I signed the camera, but it didn't do anything. I don't know. Okay, can I? Are you are you sure you want to build it like this, seeing as you're not Ah, no, there you go. That's better. No, it's working. Um, is yours aligned? It's definitely aligned with the voxels, right? Are you sure that the the other one is? Yes. Um, I mean, the difference is not much. Like, it's just, there's just a bit of a rotation. So certainly we could. Uh... about it slightly differently um so i'm building another tool for my tool changer <sighs> but i'd like the tool to be able to like detach from the tool changer and be attached to something else so that it's easy oh, to pick up and put down oh god what the hell why did i lose ah okay so the range on that remote control is not very long the range is whatever you set the antenna's range oh, okay. to so i need to change that then Okay, how about... Ah, like that. Okay. Mildly oh, no. awkward, but fine. Uh, oh, I died, fuck. Are you bringing across the conveyor uh, tube then? Yes, I am. It's it's a slow building process. Probably could just have parked a bit closer, couldn't we? But uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, Mike, what are you doing? I died. Why are you uh, spawning inside the pink ship? Because it was the closest, I guess. Yep. <laughs> ha! Take that, gravity. Yes. Have we got some kind of steel plate shortage in the Duke? Probably. Uh, I mean, we are trying yeah. to build a large grid ship. <laughs> yeah, Those take a lot of steel plates. There, there, there oh. is a lot in of... In the Duke, not the Zorro. In the Duke, Duke, gotta say. I think there's, there's some lack of connection I mean, somewhere. I, do, you me to, do you want me to help you yeah, weld those that's up? That's more likely. Sure. I do have a welding ship, after all. Okay, fine, I'll build the oh, rest but of you've it. only got three left. Well, no, I'm, there's a whole chain uh, to do, isn't there? <laughs> Sounds like Dan is is desperate to, to fly around for a bit, so I'll build him something to crash into. Uh, I will come and do that in a minute then. Uh, why doesn't... Why do birds... Oh, I'd forgotten about that. The what? small grid conveyor junctions, the faces that have the large conveyor port on them, the middle block of that face is not an attachment point. Say that again. Hmm. Oh, there's a supply transport. Should we go and shoot that down nine kilometers away? Yes, no? We're not here to shoot things down. We're here to build a base. Yeah. 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 Part of building is destruction. Hmm. Hmm. Well, um... it is when some of us build. Okay, why can't I not control this um, missile? I, it's definitely not... I've definitely extended the, the range. It's only like a kilometer away, but it's not letting me control it. Dan Chan, did you want to come and build our... Conveyor system now. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, Let me solve Mike's problem first. Where are you, Mike? So I'm just like, like it, I'm over here, like a, about 800 meters away from the thing. Hang on. Okay, you you should be able to see. No, so I can't. Yeah, so it's just not. Uh, well, I can okay, see the not... missile. Yeah. It's a kilometer away. Yeah. Like it should be able to control it from that range, but it doesn't let me. Hold on, but where are you? I'm just right next to the missile. I'm like 100 meters oh. away from the missile. Okay, I'm now on top of the missile. Uh, but now it'll let me control it, I think. But yeah, but like it doesn't it doesn't work at oh, anything more uh, than... I, it's probably your personal antenna range. Ah, uh, okay. How do I change that then? You can't change that. It's just oh, okay, small. What do I do then? Uh, I mean, if you're near, like if, if you're in range of another antenna, Okay, so basically I need to build an antenna in order... I need to build something with an antenna in order to control the missile, basically. A control chair sort of thing. Or you yeah. could ride on the missile. It doesn't even need to be a control chair, just a friendly grid that is in range. So, like, you could build one on the base, for instance. Yeah. And then it would be a large grid one, and large grid ones ha can have tons of range. Yes, but that would only work if I was trying we to attack base. things that were close. 
Also, yeah, but death. presumably you're gonna have like you're gonna be taking the missile to the fight. Yes. And then flying the missile the rest of the way there. So yes. whatever your so, like whatever your launch platform is, yeah, your it needs to have an antenna. Yeah. Launcher wants an antenna. The ice vein here is very narrow, very yes, not steep. Yes, it needs, wants to be oh, like no. a, a horizontal mining rig, yeah. basically. But then it's going to create a huge pit, isn't it? Which Darren isn't going to like. Okay, come on, how? Yeah, but we can build over the top below of the, the pit, surface. right? If, if it's below the surface, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. It's, I just don't want an extensive network of holes. <laughs> you, in... You're happy with one large <laughs> hole, are you? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, what, no, no, one deep hole is fine. No, but we don't want to a make wide a deep hole. hole we, want is... make a, we want to make a, a, a long horizontal hole, it seems. Uh, but a trench. No, a trench uh, yes. isn't great. Or moat. No, but a trench no, that's not I, open the, the whole air. point is that it, like, we go... You go there down. There's a small hole in the surface, and then... We, we go horizontally from there. Yeah, keyhole mining, that's what you want. Sure, yeah. lacroscopic mining. Yes, the main trick Gu is to guys, make Guys, sure... how many components do is I need? Is there an antenna on Zorro, actually? Lots. Lots. No, there is not an antenna on okay. Zorro. Uh, you can use the build planner thing. Oh yeah, because you can do it with that. I thought if I used the build planner, I'd have to um, like put it into my inventory. Yeah, I know what you know. Okay, so what am I build plannering? Like, um, conveyors. conveyors? Yes. Convey. Uh, conveyor tubes. Like, you can only build planet eight at a time, though. Yes, but you can do a control click to do more of those. Okay, so if I go to the infantry... Uh, the infantry? What's the French infantry? Uh... Oh, well, there's no feedback, so I don't know if I got all of the stuff. Well, this is going to be my first flight that's with quite this much loading, so I'm not sure uh, how well this is going to work. How much do you weigh? Uh, I now weigh 80 Very kilos. Oh. Uh, hold on, I need to... Uh... Oh, man, I definitely need a readout for that. Okay, how so I can get it to work from the Red Dwarf, but how do I actually get to the camera again? Because I'm pressing the button to go to the camera, but it's just leaving me in the Red Dwarf's um, cockpit view. Or do I not need to be in the cockpit to do this? But to do what? To, to control, <laughs> to use the antenna. If no, I'm you don't need it. to be in the cockpit. It's just if it's okay. in range. Any antenna that's friendly will act as a relay. Okay. Well, I seem to be flying okay. But does it fly? Is there flight on Mars? I could do with a bit more lift. Okay, you're a really nice guy, Dan. If, uh, <laughs> be careful. It's, uh... Thanks. I needed that. Okay, do we have anything I can fire a missile at? It's not, I mean, what... Yeah, so what you do is you uh -huh. look for the, the HUD marker called Mike, and then you... Uh... Uh -huh. He you seem away to... from you and see if you can make it come back at you. You seem to have made this tube a shitty brown colour. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Right, Welder is live. Okay, well, so the missile seems to work. Sort of. Ooh, Please yeah, don't explode it without somebody looking, because, you know, we need to see that. The hinge thing's quite good, isn't it? Yes, but if you fly in the way of the welders, they will turn off. I know. Oh, that's fine. So, stop doing it. Well, they, they will turn off. What, don't they just kill me? No, I've put a safety device on there so what? that if anyone gets close enough to the welders, they'll turn off. And you've just turned them off again. I Do you want me to just... weld this up for you or not? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I think there's going to be a bit more hazard uh, from flying find the... What's the uh, landing gear for on top? Mm, okay. uh, so that's for when I want to change the tool. So, yeah, so do we have any enemies? Or is it okay for me to just test a missile by just like building a target and flying into it and blowing things up? Like I mean, that? that's the soppy way to test it. Yes. Do you think they won't shoot back? What it's is not a connection? real test. But like, you've seen all these cargo ships that have been flying past. Yeah. Any that's red, you can attack. They're not friendly to us. Okay. 
But again, Especially please warn one of us who has a camera before you uh, explode. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Or approach cargo ships for that matter. Oh, have I run out of stuff or am I just too far away? Yeah, oh man, I should be in first person view. It's so much easier to do the welding from the cockpits. Uh, mind out, Rev. Sure. Welder incoming. Good work. This one here needs to do, I think, and then we're there. Oh, am I not? There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, and then one more, that, well, you can't get the one beneath it. Can't I? I? Two, I can't I? <laughs> oh, the other way. Uh, and we've missed the three over here that actually connect to the ship. But apart from that, we're doing okay. Oh, I didn't realize I was always doing the other side of the connector as well. No, no, you, well, you weren't. I thought RCX was doing that, but he. He Sorry, I've been off and... trying to deal with uh, a different issue. So, but how do you actually make warheads explode? Uh, well, so first you need to arm them. So, sorry, can I demonstrate yeah. this for Mike? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not by shooting them, Rev. No, that, that is one of the ways, actually. Okay. Yes. That's not the way I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you for the welding, Dan. I, I don't have enough stuff on me to weld them all, but I can go back and get more. If we even have enough. We've got an assembler to make that, make that stuff, right? Mm, yeah, but remember when we were putting the uh, the ones on the Duke Duke, we did have trouble with uh, not having enough motors. The assembler made them in the end, so... I Who was going to build more pistons on that, Doug Chan. Uh, okay, well, I was thinking we'd do one for now and then, like, you know, do a, do a drill and then, like... Okay. Hashtag right. one more piston. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. Oh, apparently I had more components than I thought because I've welded up, like, all of this half. So you have. Ah, uh, so there, I have discovered a problem with this design, which is that I can't see the welder out the front of my cockpit. Well, duh. You seem to be doing a good enough job, though. Seems like you're actually connecting all the bits. The new welder is working well, and Duke Duke has returned safely. Join us next time as the building starts in earnest, and Mike experiments with his missile.